Hi, hello guys. Before we move on, uh, let's congratulate our CLAT 2023 toppers. Uh, so here uh, we are here to congratulate AR2 uh, Sahil Gupta, AR37 Pratyush Chaturvedi and AR96 Komal Gadwal. And apart from these three, we had 70 plus NLU admits guys. So 70 plus people from an academy reaching out to NLU. So if you want to be one among them, all that you need to do is subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and do subscribe to an academy platform and attend our plus classes, take mock tests and you will be on the list. And this is not just happened in 2023 season. So we have done it in 2022 as well. So in 2022, we had 45 plus people attending uh, from an academy going to NLUs. And in 2023, we made it double close to 70 plus people going there. Hi, hello guys, I'm Kalyan Charan VSG and uh, in this video, we're going to see about LCM and HCF. And in previous video, we have seen about uh, factors and multiples and if you have missed out on uh, that video, please uh, go and see that video and come back here. And we have discussed in the previous video that what is LCM and what is HCF. LCM stands for least common multiple. If I say least common multiple, so you need to look at the multiples. Out of the multiples, you need to look at common multiples and you need to pick the least one. So, for example, let's pick out two numbers. Let's see 12. What are the multiples of 12? 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, so on and so forth. What are the multiples of 18? 18, 36, 54, 72, so on and so forth. Now, if we know that these are the multiples, out of the multiples, we need to look at what are the common multiples. What are the common multiples? 36 is a common multiple. 72 is a common multiple. And here there will be 84 and then 108, 108 will be a common multiple and so on and so forth. Out of the common multiples, as we move forward, there will be multiple common multiples. Out of co uh, multiple common multiples, if I ask you what is the least among them? So what is the least common multiple here for 12 and 18 is 36. So what is LCM of 12 and 18, which is 36. Now, for all the numbers, we cannot list down all the multiples and look out for a common multiple, right? There should be a method in which we calculate or we identify LCM. So, there are two such methods. The very first method is division method. What do I mean by division method? So, let's look at 12 and 18 and let's divide them. So, both the numbers will be divided with say 2, which is common between both. It goes 6 times and this goes 9 times and between 6 and 9, 3 being common. So, 3 goes 2 times and 3 goes 3 times and between 2 and 3, there is nothing in common. So, we can leave it like that. Now, if I need to find LCM, all that I need to do is I need to multiply all these numbers. How can I multiply all these numbers? 2 into 3 into 2 into 3, which makes it 6 into 6, which is 36 being my LCM. I hope this is clear for everybody. So, let us quickly do it for a different set of numbers, say 140. And 210. So, if you need to find LCM of 140 and 210, how are you going to do it using division method? I know 10 is common here. If I take 10 out, it is 14 and 21. Between 14 and 21, I know 7 being common. 7 twos are, 7 threes are. So, between 2 and 3, there is nothing common. All that I need to do is I need to multiply all these numbers, which makes it 10 into 7 into 2 into 3. So, which makes it? 6 sevens of 42 into 10, which is 420. So, LCM of 140 and 210 is 420. So, one thing that you need to remember in LCM is LCM will be greater than or equal to greatest among the numbers. So, for example, 12 and 18, 
for 12 and 18 lcm has to be greater than 18 for 140 210 your lcm has to be greater than or equal to 210 so remember lcm even though it's a, it starts with least common multiple it is actually a greater number compared to the given numbers and this is the very first method division method and there is one more method called as prime factorization method and you remember we have discussed the prime factorization and if you have missed out on that video please go back and uh, see it in the description box and go to the prime uh, and composite video in that we discussed prime factorization and in that prime factorization method we discussed 12 is nothing but 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1 and 18 is nothing but 2 raised to 1 and 3 raised to 2. So, this is prime factorization of 12 and 18. Now, in order to find LCM, you need to take all the prime factors that exist in both and take the highest power of the prime factors. You need to take highest power of the prime factors. So, what are the factors that exist? Prime factors 2 and 3. And what are the powers of 2? Power of 2 is 2 here, power of 2 is 1 here. Out of 2 and 1, what is the maximum power? maximum power is 2. So, I take 2. And here, power of 3 is 1, power of 3 is 2. Out of 1 and 2, the maximum power being 2. So, LCM is 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2, which makes it 4 into 9, which is 36. This is prime factorization method. Let us try that out it here. For 140, what are the prime factors? 10, 14, 2, 5, 7, so, 140 could be written as 2 raised to 2, 5 raised to 1 and 7 raised to 1. For 210, what is the prime factorization? 10 and 21, 7, 3, 2, 5. So, what is the prime factorization here? 2 raised to power 1, 5 raised to power 1, 3 raised to power 1 and 7 raised to power 1. So, this is prime factorization of 140 and 210. And how do you find LCM here? You will find LCM using all the prime factors. What are the prime factors? 2, 3, 5 and 7. And here, maximum power of 2 is 2. And maximum power of 3. Here, there is no 3, which means the power is 0. And here, the power is 1. So, the maximum power being 1. And for 5, in both cases it is 1, hence it is 1. And for 7, in both cases it is 1, hence it is 1. So, which makes it 420. Am I clear with this guys? If yes, please do comment S in the description box or comment box. So, that is how we find LCM using division method and prime factorization method. So, remember to find least common multiples, you need to look out for a number which is common for both 12 and or common between both the multiples of 12 and 18 or any two such numbers. And one thing we need to remember is LCM will always be a number which is greater than or equal to the greatest among those numbers. All right, this is about LCM. Now, let us quickly look at HCF. We discussed HCF as highest common factor. Highest common factor. So, we discussed what is factor and now we need to see what are the common factors. Out of the common factors, we need to look out for the highest common factor. If I say, let us look at 12. What are the factors of 12? We discussed 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. What are the factors of 18? The factors of 18 being? Yes, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Correct. Now, these are all the factors of uh, 12 and 18. Now, to find HCF, we need to look out for the common factors. So, what are the common factors between uh, 12 and 18? 1 is a common factor, 2 is a common factor, 3 is a common factor, 6 is also a common factor. Is not it guys? Now, out of the common factors, if in just like LCM, if I ask you what is the least common factor? If I ask you least common factor, 
least common factor between any two numbers is 1. Why? Because we discussed 1 is a factor for every number. So, least common factor will always be 1. So, that is where nobody asks you what is least common factor. Instead, they will ask you what is the highest common factor. Out of the common factors, what is the highest number? So, between 12 and 18, the highest common factor being 6. So, HCF here in this case is 6. Again, we cannot list down all the factors of a number and then look out for common factors and then pick the highest number, isn't it? That is where we need to work out with division method or prime factorization method. And how is it going to work is something that we are going to see now. For 12 and 18, what we have done in LCM, we multiplied all the numbers, isn't it? But if you are looking for a common factor, you need to stop here, you need to multiply only the numbers which are common. Clear with this guys? So, what are the only things which are common? 2 and 3, which is 2 into 3 is 6, that is your HCF. Am I clear with this guys? So, the method is same. If you multiply all the numbers in the list, you will get LCM. But if you just multiply the common elements in the list, then that is HCF. For 140 and 210, what is HCF? Now, we need to stop here because the commons have dried out. So, we need to multiply 10 and 7, which makes it 70 being the HCF. Yes, is this clear? How to find HCF? So, you need to do the common division method. In that, you do not need to count the elements which are left out without any common. Rather, you need to multiply the elements which are the common numbers between the given numbers. Okay, with respect to prime factorization method, how do you find HCF? In LCM, what we have done? We have taken the highest power. Remember, we have taken highest power of prime factors. Clear? For L HCF, we take least power of prime factors. For HCF, we need to take what? The least power of prime factors. What are the least powers of the prime factors? So, the prime factors are 2 and 3 in this case. Correct? And what is the least power of 2? Least power of 2 is 1. And what is the least power of 3 in these 2? Is 1. So, it is 2 power 1 into 3 power 1. Hence, HCF is 6. Now, let us again look at 140 and 210. So, what is it we have done here? We know 140 is 2 power 2, 5 power 1, 7 power 1 and 3 power 0 and 210 is 2 power 1, 5 power 1, 3 power 1 and 7 power 1. Now, if I need to take HCF of these two numbers, which is 140 and 210, I need to take all the factors. What are the factors? 2, 3, 5 and 7. These are the prime factors now. Out of these prime factors, I need to pick the least power. So, 2's least power is 1. So, I need to take 1 here. And 3's least power is 0. Remember, 3 power 1, 3 power 0. The least power being 0. So, 3 power 0. And 5's least power is 1. And 7's least power is 1. So, it is 2 power 1 into 3 power 0 into 5 power 1 into 7 power 1. So, 2 power 1 being 2 into 5, 10 into 7, 7. So, all that you need to do is, in LCM, you take the highest power, highest power common for the prime factor. For HCF, you take the least power which is common for both the prime factors or all the prime factors. So, that is how we calculate uh, HCF of numbers. So, remember, just like LCM being greater than greatest of the common numbers, HCF, since it is a factor, it will always be less than or equal to the smallest of the numbers. Guys, am I clear with this? So, HCF will be less than or equal to smallest of the given numbers. LCM will be always greater than or equal to greatest of the given numbers. So, remember 12 and 18, the HCF is 6. And for 140 and 210, HCF is 70. So, the given HCF or the HCF that we get as an answer it should be less than or equal to smallest of given numbers and LCM should be greater than or equal to greatest of the given numbers. At this juncture, since we discussed about LCM and HCF, there is a rule if there are two numbers A comma B and their LCM and HCF exist, remember product of two numbers A into B should be equal to 
LCM into HCF. So, product of two numbers should always be equal to product of LCM into product of HCF. So, that is about highest common factor, least common multiple. And remember, least common multiple is out of the given multiples, we are looking at a least number and highest common factor is out of the factors, we are picking out the common, highest common factor. And since we discussed about highest common factor, let us look at what is highest common multiple. If somebody asks you what is the highest common multiple of a given numbers, 12 and 18, we cannot say because this goes up till infinite, is not it? Because the common multiples will keep going. Hence, we cannot find highest common multiple, rather we can find highest common factor. And if somebody asks you least common factor is always 1, right. Now, a quick pointer here for everybody, remember for prime numbers, for any two prime numbers, HCF of any two prime numbers will always be 1. For any two prime numbers, HCF is 1 because those two prime numbers have only one factor in common that is 1. And LCM of prime numbers is nothing but product of those prime numbers. So, for prime numbers, HCF is 1 and LCM will be product of those prime numbers. Am I clear with this guys? If so, please do put uh, your comments in the comment box. And with this, we are uh, closing today's session, which is LCM and HCF. Hope this uh, is sounds interesting for you and helpful for you. So, let us crack CLAT 2024 and let us secure our NNU admit. So, see you all. See you all in the next video. In the next video, we are going to discuss about divisibility rules. Let us crack it.